Guys, make sure to, to look into Full Bloom 4 right now on Smash GG. A lot of great merch. Right here next to me, we got Spire Cobb. What up? Cobb, congratulations on Thanks, second man. place, man. Thanks. Yeah, it was a sick game. I, I told you early in the day I had you in top three. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right? And, uh, yeah, after our game, I, I knew you were going to go places. Tell, dude, tell me about Rick. That's really <laughs> that, the closest set you had, that's, right? That was pretty dumb overall. I feel bad about it because, like, I feel like I didn't earn it in a way. But we played two weeks ago at, uh, like, a small monthly. And it was the same situation where, like, he was up three stocks to one. And I brought it back to, like, last hit each, but he won. So even when I was down, like, three stocks to one, I still had, like, a little bit of confidence. Because I did it last week. I just didn't get, like, the last hit. Yeah, you, you, you've been in that experience before, in that spot before. Yeah. So when, when you were fighting Rick from that position, how did, how did you feel? You just had to stick it in there? Or? Um, I don't know what happened. Like, I honestly, like, in my head, had given up. Like, I, I thought about, like, because he was up four stocks to one, I think, at one point. I thought I was going to get four stock. So I was, like, I was like, I might just kill him and kill myself so I don't get four stock. I, I didn't think I could do it. But then once I took the first stock... Like, I took his... Once I got him down to two stocks, I was like, okay, maybe. It's maybe possible. And then you just kept playing on, uh, you know, just... Yeah, I started you know. playing ultra safe, which is, like... I think I need to be, like, play safer against Rick anyway. And so being on last stock, like, made me do that. And yeah. then that kind of, like, let me know what to do for game five. Game five was still really close, but... Dude, you had such great presence of mind, and there were so many emotional parts in the match, especially when Rick was fishing for the up smashes. And yeah, you, he, he does that, though. Like, it's just, like, the Rick. Once he's... You see the mode. He's yeah. got the blood in his eyes. Yeah, he, he, he fishes for that up smash super hard, so I don't know. So it's, it's just really great you have experience against him, and then you were in that stage, in that spot, and you yeah. knew what to do. Yeah, we've played a ton this year. Like, not as much recently, but i played him more than probably anybody else in tournament this year. Cool, cool. Uh, tell, tell us where, you, where you're from. Oh, I'm from Kentucky. Okay, so are you ranked number two right now? Mm -hmm, behind Reeve. Right it's behind me. Reeve. Yeah. So you placed much better than Reeve today. Yeah, you think? Reeve. Uh, yeah, Reeve had a, a rough. Reeve uh, had a rough tournament for sure. Yeah, and I'm and not trying to downplay how good Reeve is, but do you think uh, this tournament and a few more tournaments you'll you'll place maybe above Reeve or? I don't. It's hard to say. Um, he he just hasn't been going to a lot. I think he's still the better player. Okay. But he just. I really think the only tournament this season for our PR season has been like Big House and. He had like a pretty bad bracket there. He like lost to West Balls for 97th. Yeah, there's a lot of tough upsets. So I don't know. I mean, maybe like on a ranking scale, I could be like above Reed, but I don't think I'm so I can surpass him in skill. Okay. So it just depends. I feel that. I feel that. So is this Twitter correct at SpireCob? Yeah. That's, All right, that's word man. You guys gotta follow this guy. He's got a long drive home, so I'm just trying to let him go. Do you want to shout out anything to the fans? Uh. Or I guess mention? shout out to Zamu. Zamu's yeah, he's Zam a great guy. We uh. Uh, second time teaming, we did. I think I second doubles. Yeah. I was pretty happy with that. Reset bracket on Rick and Lance, and then he made a run in singles. I think to get fifth. So yep, I was pretty young. Kid Zamu was doing great. Yeah, shout out to Zamu, um, Trayvon for getting top eight. Trayvon the Jigglypuff. Yeah, he, he was the only person to take a money match off me today. Really? Yep, he is yep. pretty strong. More than I can say. <laughs> Dude, you got second. Then yeah, that's yeah, a lot yeah, of cash yeah, bringing yeah. home, man. Um. Who else? Texie did really well from Kentucky. It was a good tournament for Kentucky. Yeah, overall. Texie's this chic player, and he he beat Reeve and losers. But yeah, I guess that's about it. And there's nothing too much. Yep. Shout outs to Kentucky. Shout outs to you guys watching at home. Got like the four hour drive home, so I feel that man. Not looking good. All right. Thanks All right, for the man. interview. Yeah. Congratulations once again. Yep. All right, guys, stick around. I'm gonna try to get La Luna on the mic. Yeah, you're good. Big shout outs to all the guys that came today, especially Texie, Trayvon. Um, we got Zamu, Shabo, a lot of Central Illinois, a lot of uh, Indiana, some Kentucky. I, uh, I think there's just a few Ohio State players, or maybe not. Mostly uh, Kentucky, from what we just heard from Cobb. Really, really great gameplay. Reverse four stock. Boys, you, if you saw that, there's so many good clips. You got to clip. You got to clip a lot of cop stocks, man. He takes the first stock from the moon. And then many matches. Only to be reverse 3 0'd by him. Really, really tough day for La Luna, but he comes out as the victor. First place at like a 100 person tournament. Not an easy feat for anyone to do. This is a third Kilroy, though, so I'll uh, do that quick mention that I won the first Kilroy two years ago. That was old school, man. That was before Melee Every Day. Was it? 
That was right around the time of Melee Every Day. And then, long before Tempo Storm, we got Misfits La Luna. He's walking up to the stage. Thanks for tuning in, guys. It's been a long, long day at Melee Every Day. So, how are you feeling, right? I feel good. I feel good. Some were tough, right? Some matches were tough. Yeah, Rick was tough. The last time I played him was uh, Naptown. And uh, he beat Red. What is Naptown? Naptown was in February. Dang. So I went there in February. Where that was, was it? the first time in Indy. It was Indy? In Indy, but I forgot exactly where. I know it wasn't in Bloomington. The first time I went to Bloomington was for Full Bloom. But it was hard. And then uh, I can't believe I, got, I SD'd. <laughs> and everybody's like, we take those. So in my head, it's I was so like, fast, yeah. I, I let it get to me, and then I was like, all right, no, nah, nah, I don't want to go to game. set two. Let me, like, relax. I was like, let me just play my game now. I was like, the, the game is already gone. I can't, like, I'm not Tracer or something. I can't just, like, rewind time and be like, let me let me do this again. So I was like, all right, I'm, I'm playing more patient. And I was like, if he plays more patient, then that, that's going to give me leeway to come in. So like, if he keeps pulling out turnips, all I need to figure out is when, and then I'm going to come in. And that's one thing I noticed is that you, you weren't eager to punish turn up pull. You, mm -hmm. just, you just saw turn ups and like you play from a distance, play slowly, and you, you had confidence that he wasn't going to hurt you. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, like playing with Armada, that's when I started uh, realizing. Because like, when Armada plays, uh, he won't play with turn ups as often until you start slicing him. When you start cutting him up, he starts pulling out turn ups more. So that's when I was learning how to play that, that game, like patient game. Obviously, I get impatient sometimes, or you have to make a move because then she just might smother you, and now you're stuck. So I, I started learning uh, when I was playing him at Summit 3. I was like, oh, yeah, this... this a year ago. Yeah, a year ago. And I was like, I, I, should, I should, like, near these turnips or F-smash them when they're, like, off stage because they, like, throwing it, and if I F-smash, it, it, it eats the turnip and it hits him. But there was one time he didn't throw it, and I just, like, I, 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 like, did, like, a shadow boxing. Like, I pretended, like, if he threw the turn up in that range, and I, like, slid under it. Well, it wasn't, it didn't really exist, but in my mind it did. I, I was, like, if he throws it here, I'm just going to slide in and F smash his, like, skirt. And then I caught him. So I was, like, all right. It was a great F smash. I remember that one. Mm -hmm. You just tippered him right off at low percent. The, the big key was finding low percent kills mm -hmm. or edge guarding him. There were a lot of times where you just come swooping in and you just hit him out. Yeah. And it is possible for Peach to do that fine sweet spot. It's mm -hmm. a little hard and you can cover it if you read it, right? Yeah. If she goes super low, you just have to grab the ledge. Mm -hmm. So I was like, he could do his little Mary Poppins and you know, go left and right. So well, the one time I did the F tilt. It comes like, from below. It starts below, yeah. Yeah, I was like, all right, I, I need him to move back because I, I want to kill him right now. It's like, if he moves forward, then I got to I gotta inside fair him or, like, hit him. And he moved back, and I was like, all right, thank you. That's but actually one thing, yeah, he didn't do, which is just charge in. Yeah. You can, you can eat a soft move if you charge in. Yeah. So people forget, like, with Peach, she could take those hits. But if she takes those hard ones where, like, you move back a little or if I, I space it where you're coming in. I was like, all right, if he moves back, I'm just going to F2. If he, if he don't move back, I, I have to, f like, ascending fair, fast fall, turn around, grab him or something. Yeah, you make the job so complicated. Mm -hmm. So that was a sick game. Anything you want to mention about your other sets? Uh, th those were the hardest because I only lost to them. So I, I, could only, I could only gain a lot of knowledge or figure out what am I doing wrong. If I lose, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. so when I was winning, I was like, oh, I, I guess I'm doing all right. I'm not like zero to deafing everybody. But when I started to lose, I was like, all right, I'm dash attacking too much. I'm staying in my shield uh, too often. I, I need to get out. And then sometimes I second guess, I was like, I should counter right here. He did like three attacks last time. I'm just going to counter. You had some sick counters, and, and two counters I want to talk about are um, instead of blocking, like you said, mm -hmm. you just predict the attack and just counter it. And it's... Not common outside of the Falco matchup for, for a lot of Mars to just mm -hmm. throw it out. And then another one you're doing is during their invincibility. You would time it so that um, right as their invincibility wore off, they would like hit you and counter would hit them. Yeah. Right. So that was actually really cool. Yeah, because like Peach, you could see her whole near, her whole near animation. So I, it's, like, it's like I have to open my eyes a little bit. And I'm like, oh, okay. Time to counter. Yeah, counter. Sometimes I do it so late that I end up getting hit, and I'm like, 
What was the point of that? Yeah, that, I say that in my head. Like, why did I even risk it? I should have just air dodged, but I want to hit him. I want to hit him as well. Yeah, air dodge is a good start up. Block is, of course, frame one. So you got advantages, disadvantages. Uh, a big thing we should comment on is you did not win teams. Oh, yeah, I didn't win teams. It's okay, because the last visitor to this uh, tournament last year, Drug Fox, he mm -hmm. teamed with me, and we got second. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah I got rocked. Well, we yeah, got it was, rocked it was Kel's Dreff, and they, they took us out, but... Oh, that's way harder than what we fought. You you fought some competent players, but yeah, not no, as we, hard we as... No, we fought it, but I'm saying, like, Kel's Dreff, because that's, like, a static team. Well, well it, is Lance and... Uh, Lance and Rick, Rick is actually Rick is a static, static team, too. Yeah. Okay. But we didn't play them. You didn't even meet them in bracket? No, we didn't get to play them. Uh, so, you had trouble with Zamu and Shabu? Shabu? Mm-hmm. And then, that's the one oh, that had Thor tag. Yeah, Thor. Yeah, yeah. yeah you kept on calling that Fox Thor. You kept on bullying uh, Reeve. Yeah, because I, I was like, if I I was like, if I down throw to you, you could just F smash or up tilt. Just put them in a cluster, like disable them. I just call it disable because when you hit them and they have to attack or roll, that's something that they don't want to do. They want to be like active so they can attack. You can't attack during attacking and rolling. So I'm like, you could just disable them, down throw. But every time I pass it to him, uh, he wasn't ready yet. He was doing aerials or not ready. Yeah, yeah. what well, you explained earlier about the the jumping. So I'm like, I was like, oh, this is going to be way harder to kill these guys because if, if I could pass it to him, then it will be easier. That's why I like when I you play. You got to play Yeah, when I play like DJ or s or G or, or, or Lucky, I just pass it to them. And then they just, they do whatever they got to do, uh, triple kicks, whatever, and I pass it back. And I'm like. Problem is, though, that Mart doesn't got kicks, right? Yeah, he don't got kicks, but you, you could, like, slice and dice. Because we were doing that at one point. We was, like, slice and dice ladder. I, I do it with, like, pew pew and friendlies. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I'll pass it off to him, and, and he'll jump on the stage and dare. Or, like, uh, he'll hold ledge. Oh, that was another thing. I guess it was, like, miscommunication. I, I, I assume that Reeve knew if I grabbed ledge, he could just F smash. But he, like, jumped there, and it kept the fox alive. Yeah, instead of closing out matches with key moves, mm -hmm. he would... He would yeah, and it's, it's a simple thing for for me. So like, I come from this inexperienced Marth position where like I want to input and help, mm -hmm. right? You're like I'm helping if I just add damage. But as you're saying, you can you can find some uh, closeouts. Yeah, you can find finishers or, or like when when your teammate is getting hit, don't always try to save them. Don't don't baby them. Like especially if you have a fox on your team. That's a, that's a grab and go. Don't baby me. Yeah, don't, 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 baby. don't baby me because if they if I can understand if it was a two foxes on the team. You could do a shine to Peach and she'll slide. But if, if it's Marth Marth and you hit her, she's just going to crouch cancel your move and she gets two down smashes within like, uh, within the amount of, the amount of time she, she was supposed to get one, she gets two of them. Because she does, yeah, you hit her. Another one. Yeah. Double, hit, yeah, yeah. More so, hitboxes, more confusion. Yeah. So I was like, oh, I, I hit him for you. But I was like, yeah. But, but now I'm stuck. I'm stuck again getting down smash. So that's why a lot of Fox players... They don't try to fight Peach in the front most of the time. If you have like a, if you have a Marth or if you have like a Sheik, Sheik could go in the front and fight Peach. Because if 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 they if they grab Fox and they they just put him in a vortex, he's done. Like how is he gonna get out? What move on your asset that your teammate has is gonna get you out? If they if they're Sheik, if they're Fox, they could they could probably get you out. They could just shine. Or if they're Falco, they could shine. But any other character, they just gonna get down smash. And then you're gonna get down smash. Yeah, you try to help your teammate in the fray, but you get caught in the fray yourself. Yeah. That's what, okay. Yeah, yeah, it's like a sandwich. It's like they hit you, uh, then your opponent, your I mean your opponent hits you, then your teammate wants to hit, and then your last opponent is gonna be on the top. It's like I, I, we get the last hit, and then whatever happens happens. Yeah, you gotta you gotta be aware of both teammates, right, and what mm -hmm. options are covering and. Just tacking on damage isn't enough. Yeah, especially uh, double mark. Like, it's hard to find kills, but it's you can the find them. Yeah, yeah. you, you were finding them. them with up tilt and F smash. Yeah, I was like, oh, oh, he, I can see him. Doom, doom. Oh, I see it. And then one time, I, I did go off stage. I, I miscalculated how far he will go, and we would have killed the fox. And I got, I got near by Peach, and I died. Did you have any uh, considerations for going fox? I only went one time to see how it did, and I was like. Nah, I don't like it. I just, I just stay Marth because it keeps the Peach away. And uh, when you go Fox against Peach, they just want to sit in their shield all day. Just, just sit there, have fun. Oh, this is my home. This is my house. This this home base because it's hard to, like, shield, stab her. But you if I'm really Marth, her, yeah. yeah, I could just 
I could poke away. I don't care if she spot dodges. I don't care if she rolls behind me. I don't even care if she floats for her four seconds in the air. Because it's teams. So you could just run to her teammate. Same thing with Jake. So you could run to the teammate. Uh, you know, molly, molly wop the teammate, and then she has to come in. Yeah, with Fox, if you, if you press hard on the shield, there are a lot of things that can go wrong. Mm -hmm. So it seemed to me like you, you might have had a, a higher win rate with Fox, but you're, you're saying you, you believed Marth was the best choice, even on double Marth. Yeah. Okay. Well, it was a nice try for third. It was tough. Yeah, that was, that was actually rough. Dude, there was, there was one uh, doubles team that like, actually scared me. It was the, the Sheik Peach. Peach, yeah. I, knew, I know what you're talking about. Uh, at first, I was like, oh, we're just plowing through. Then they started, like, having a bit more synergy. And there was one point, like, like Reeve went in, like, the, the pit or something. Oh, it's bad. I think it was against Fox, Foxes or something. But he went into the pit, and I was like, why did he go in there? And then we lost that, we lost that match. We lost Pokemon because I, I didn't think he was going to run in there. I was like, we both were, like, super hyper. How was communication between you two, like, uh, rare? It, it was just, like, like uh, short and subtle. Basic, like, yeah. All right, just, you got to be safe. If I'm blocking, that's another thing. A lot of people don't play teams, so they don't understand that if I'm blocking. You can attack through my yeah, block. You, F smash, I don't care. Just just F smash, I don't care, or, or fair. Because if, if, if you hit the max distance, it's going to get hit on my shield. It might delay your move just to catch him in time. And then they're going to attack again, and then you could just attack him again. So I was like, oh, just hit through my shield. Or, like, the times where I'll see him about to run to me, I like, don't save me. Because then... It, He's putting himself in a bad yeah, position. Don't I baby don't, me. Don't, yeah. don't save me. Don't save me. I'm dead. I was like, I don't have a jump. I'm dead. Don't, don't save me. Because if he, if he runs there, then, uh, then he, might get, he might get rocked. Yeah, you might get a double edge guard instead of just you, right? Where yeah. Reeves then, off stage now. And then you have to, like, uh, in teams, you have to pay attention where they spawn so you know where to run to after they die. It's like You run away from invincibility, yeah? Yeah, you run away from the, the, the platform, the angel platform. And then say, like, if they, if they spawn here, you, you want to be over there. If you got the kill over here, just run over there. And then they have to run two seconds and gone. Waste invincibility, yeah. exactly. Yeah. But it, it depends on the stage. Sometimes they spawn in the middle, and you're like, damn. I should have given the first and fourth <laughs> port, yeah, or something like that. So uh, that's another thing in team. That's a good Teams thing to look out for. It's like quick, quick awareness. Uh, incomplete combos, you got to do incomplete combos. Or if you want to do a full combo, that's why it's called teams. It's not called Rambo and try to do everything by yourself. So if you got to do incomplete combos, I tell them, just, you got to drop the combo, let it drop. Come back, yeah. Just A lot of people get tunnel vision. You slice them twice. Oh, I need to help my teammate. He runs, shoot the laser. You jump over the laser. All right, thanks. And then you slice him again. Oh, he tr he tried to F smash. You spot dodge a roll. He F smashes his teammate. And it's like, all right, thanks. So sometimes you got to use your second opponent as as a way to like uh, bait yourself. Yeah, bait them in or hit them or extend the combo with them. Like, huh, good job, thanks. And then they get upset. Dude, that's some sick gameplay knowledge from teams. Mm -hmm. Uh, anything else you want to say before we wrap up? Any shout outs? Uh, I just want to shout out Indiana University. Thank you for the venue. Even though I know it hurts, hurts your eyes. I heard. Uh, thank you for like uh, Melee every day. Uh, definitely uh, streaming this joint because in this day and age, you need, you need to stream. Like, people want to see matches. And then you, you, like, sh <laughs> shout outs to you, you just commentate everything. You actually look like, you really remind me of Dr. Uh, Disrespect. I don't know if you know who that guy is. <laughs> yeah, dude, he's he came hilarious. Through, came through with the Lambo, because when the screenshot was on you, this was, like, background, black, and you, you was, like, all up in the screen. And I was like, damn, Dr. Disrespect, bro, Disrespect. So it kind of reminded me that. That was pretty That's funny. That's funny, dude. And I just uh, appreciate all the competitors, um, you know, actually supporting their scene, because... For a school, uh, nowadays, it's hard to, like, uh, get the venue and, like, be, become a club. So I'm glad that's actually a thing because in my school, we had some small club, but we didn't have the venue space. So I'm happy that. Shout-outs to water. The water tastes good. <laughs> Shout-outs to my team. I was sad I didn't get to uh, go to the, the Heats game. And then... I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna hang out in Bloomington. Well, I got one more day, guys. So whoever's around, we hang out, uh, have a couple of drinks, whatever, eat food, and and dance because I like to dance. So He's trying to get on the dance floor, not hang yeah, out with the frat boys. Yeah, nah, nah, frat boys, they scream too much. 
too many woos. Yeah, I'm like, I, I, it didn't really bother me. And I was like, damn, why do they scream so much? And there's no dance floor. It's like, uh, I go to like a pub or whatever. There's no dance floor. I need, I need a dance floor. I'm a dance fanatic, so I need bachata, merengue, salsa, hip hop. When are you going to Mexico next? November. It's oh, November the, now. Oh, yeah, I'm actually it's going, going this soon. month. So I'm going back. Me gusta bailar. I'm going to dance it up. Bailando. Oh, yeah, man. All right, guys, that's been a long night. It's been a long day. Follow La Luna at the Moon 112. Follow me at Rozone. Free. Thanks so much, guys. Thank Enjoy. you, guys.